back with another electronics video. I'll be working with TI to explain some of my favorite topics. Today, we're talking about comparators. Number one, what are they? A comparator compares. Okay, no, but seriously. A comparator compares two input voltages and outputs a binary signal letting us know which is larger. Now let's get into the demo. Here's some different comparator examples, and that is my finger for reference of how tiny these are. This device allows us to compare the voltage between the positive and negative pin. It will output a logic low or high impedance, which we can use as a logic high with a pull-up resistor. If the non-inverting input is larger than the inverting input, then the output will be high. If the inverting input is greater than the non-inverting input, then the output will be low. All right, that's cool and simple enough. What are they used for? Well, what do you want to use it for? Comparators have so many different applications. They can help us create threshold detectors, zero crossing detectors, oscillators. For a more specific example, they can help us determine when the temperature detected by a thermistor has risen above a particular value. TI has a very broad portfolio of analog devices, and this, of course, includes comparators. There are so many different comparators in the market, and not one type fits all. We can browse here the different categories that we can find on the TI website. We have high speed comparators, we have low power comparators, we have high voltage comparators, we have automotive comparators. We have small size comparators. We have standard comparators. Take your pig. Do we care about propagation delay? Do we care about extending battery life? Do we care about supply voltages? Do we care about the size? It's important to understand your own requirements before you go on searching for the components you're going to use. Want to learn more? Check out the resources I left for you in the caption.